since certain planets have gone direct which are going to have a very strong impact in our life it's very important to take the month of november very deliberately in our hands and not uh, um, go impulsively like a wild stallion but we need to strategize we need to know that greed can never be fulfilled but your needs can so base your needs and your desires in a very nice balanced way don't get into the greed of things don't be impulsive libra november 2018 for you well the grand trine in air your native element is written off last month but it still continues the repercussions still continue this month most of the planets are still below the horizon and your family planet saturn receives beautiful aspects the emotional comfort zone is uh, easily found and now your job is to stay there and live from there family issues will be happier than they have been in the past one year they are not perfect but much improved job seekers still have great aspects likewise those who employ others finances will remain strong this month venus going forward after the 21st gives further impetus and boost to your career this is a month for applying new technology and new innovation to your financial affairs a period for experimenting and thinking out of the box either uh, tinker with your portfolio or with your strategies computers and computer programs will help you financially too professional investors should look at high tech industries cosmetics perfumes telecommunications and fashion with mercury now forward and with many planets in your third house of communications sales marketing media activities teaching and writing go well and boost your earnings trading will also go well for you money will come through friends and through organizations to which you belong especially after the 22nd this is a month for putting your finances in order and for writing those letters and reading those books that you haven't got around doing to it so now is the time to concentrate on your personal needs and pacifying the inner search that or um, uh, getting answers for the quest that you have been working on it is a month for domestic travel and for taking advice advantage of educational opportunities that come your way for you more than most information is both power and money with no planets in earth this month except for the moon that also very occasionally the danger is in unrealistic financial planning in theory your spending and plans are beautiful but practical life is quite often the opposite story this is not only a lesson for you but for the world at large that please buy what you need don't buy what you greed or what you desire most of the planets are still in the east and mars is still in your sign all month you have plenty of energy will and dynamism to have things your way to have life on your term by all means go for it mars in your sign as he was there in the last month also is giving you a lot of sex appeal and the energy to excel in athletics or exercise programs love basically remains happy and your beloved continues to go his or her way out to please you love comes to you and there is nothing special that you need to do of course you need to be appreciative about it friendships go well during this month and new friends also come in so don't hesitate to invest in new friendships and of course for your best days stressful days your days of love and your money you'll have to visit my website the predictions that i give for the zodiac monthly signs are all very generalized i repeat that they definitely give you a guideline of what you should do so you should look into the predictions of your solar as well as your lunar signs but of course to be very categoric it's very important for you to know your natal chart and the transit planets that are affecting you personally so getting your personalized natal chart and your yearly chart is just not wastage of money in fact it is like planning your diary of life more often than not i have actually seen that people do tend to analyze and realize and take a lot of 
caution while getting their natal and their personalized chart made or their yearly charts made thinking that probably we are wasting time give it a small little thought when we go out in the market we tend to buy diaries that need to be fulfilled or, uh, of the next year that these are the diaries that I require where I jot down my thoughts think about it that when you get the diary of your life on how you can guide yourself and what you can do monthly wise that will make your productive levels very very high very useful so spending on your diaries very fruitful but spending on your yearly chart very useful.